Killed 20 people unaccounted for in the wreckage of the Italian cruise liner Costa Concordia off Italy's Tuscan coast. But the effort to find them is on hold for now. ABC's Kelly Cobiea has the latest. More than 100 divers have been searching the freezing waters day and night, but this morning they had to stop. Sensors showed the wreck resting on a ledge and pounded by strong waves shifted. There are new fears it could split, sink, and spill fuel. We interrupted the operations to verify the data from our detectors and understand whether there was actually a movement and how big this was, he says. Searchers found five bodies in this part of the ship Tuesday near the restaurant and an emergency checkpoint. All five were wearing life jackets and may have been waiting to board lifeboats when the sea flooded in. That brought the death toll to 11, with two dozen still missing. The besieged captain, Francesco Schettino, is home with his wife under house arrest. His lawyer says he's grief-stricken. In a statement, his wife defended him, saying, The many people who know him well testified that he was absolutely dedicated to his job and was a professional. Scatino is facing charges of manslaughter and abandoning ship, and three more crew members may be charged, including the captain's second in command. Costa Concordia owners blame the captain for sailing too close to the coast of Giglio Friday night, but satellite tracking reportedly shows the ship was just as close last August. And there are new questions about who was at the helm. Crew member Gladly Balderrama was serving the captain dinner when the captain got an urgent message. When somebody called him, he already went down very fast. Italian prosecutors are asking the judge to put the captain back in jail. They say he's a flight risk. Kelly Cobiella, ABC News, London. That cruise wreck has many of you weary of booking a cruise ship vacation. So coming up at 1230, John Matarese is looking at how the accident is impacting the industry as a whole.